Tiger TV Network, your source for news and information here on Middleton High. I'm Trinity Rosario. Today is Monday, November 4th, and as with every Monday, we air our show, News and Information. We begin with a look at this week's forecast. Here's Roque Velez. Thanks, Trinity. It's going to be a great day, great week in the weather, in my opinion. It will begin to feel like fall. On Monday, we'll have a high of 86 with a low of 70. Tuesday, we'll have a high of 87 with a low of 70. Wednesday, high of 86, low 70. Thursday, high of 87, low 69. And Friday, high of 80, low 62. Um, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Okay. In other news, Tigers, every day we walk by the auditorium, and yet people rarely know what it means or who is the man behind the name. Henry Shake Washington Auditorium is named after a Middleton alumni. He was a multi-letterman, all-American high school student. He was also the first principal of the new Middleton High School. What you may not know is that his son, Henry Washington Jr., is now part of the Middleton legacy. He's our new assistant principal and athletic director. So Tigers, the next time you walk by the auditorium, you will now know the history behind the name. Now, here's a look at the, some of the events taking place in the Land of the Tigers this week. On Monday, we are clear of anything. Tuesday, the five teachers, the teachers and faculty have a, meet, a weekly a faculty meeting. On Wednesday, the 6th, we have young Middleton Magnet coming to Middleton for a tour, so make way for the potential Tigers. Thursday the 7th, we have semester exam makeups. And Friday the 8th, at 11.15, we have our poetry jam as well as semester exams. It's going to be a busy week for all of us. Also, last week we had a very special guest come to campus to see our wonderful ROTC students. A four-star general by the name Robert Foley, who met and interacted as well as told his story to the students at Middleton High School. He also met with a few teachers and staff. Middleton extended a red carpet welcome to him. Phew, after all that information, sure does make you hungry. Let's see what is on the menu for lunch and dinner this week. Here's Gerardo Morales and Marielle St. Fleur. Good morning, I'm Gerardo Morales here with Marielle St. Fleur. Here's a look at the lunch and dinner menu starting with lunch. Monday we have sour chicken with yellow rice and cheeseburger. Tuesday we got tacos and pork cheese and pepperoni pizza. Wednesday we got barbecue pork with chicken bites. And Thursday we've got Tuscan chicken alfredo and cheese and pepperoni pizza. Friday we have chicken with lo mein noodles and cheesy cow dogs. And here's a look at your dinner menu. For the dinner menu today we have turkey and Swiss croissant. Tuesday we have Italian baked with chicken sausage. Wednesday we have mini cheesy cow sauce and marinara sauce. On Thursday we have cheeseburger, and on Friday we have no fat yogurt, sunflower seeds, and pretzels. I'm Mario St. Clair. I'm Gerardo Morales. Now, back to you in the studio. Students, remember, dinner is served every day immediately after school and it's free of charge. So, why go home hungry when you can have dinner on the Tigers? That's our show for today. Thanks for making Tiger TV your source for news and information here in the land of the Tigers. I'm Trinity Rosario. Join us tomorrow, same place, same time, same channel. Until then, make it a great day for the rest of the day.